Sean is in Cabo for the week, supposedly for work. It sounds like it's more one work meeting and seven days of playing, scuba diving, everything else, and it's supposed to rain. So Crystal came down with me. We're trying to tarp this boat. Um, I legitimately don't remember how I did it last time. It feels harder and harder to do it every time. I think that we're losing buckets. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a bucket band. But I got my muscle here. We don't need boys. We can do it our damn selves. Stupid boys. Stupid boys. Stupid Have fun boys. in Mexico. <laughs> um, I do miss you. Uh, but um, we're actually going to come back a little bit later with another tarp and some more buckets because I don't think that it's working and it's really supposed to come down tomorrow so i don't want sean to come back to a boat that is half sunk so i'll we'll get it done if no one hears from us tomorrow we were kidnapped <laughs> in the marina in the middle of the night tarping this boat <laughs> <laughs> crazy with COVID-19. I'm just... Alright, so things are going crazy with this COVID-19. Uh, our anchorage looks like it's so far back here and pretty much whatever goes that it's not actually locked down. So I was able to get to our boat because I wanted to get that mask and another respirator and some goggles since you cannot buy them anywhere else so for well I might as well drive the hour down to the boat to go get the stuff that I have plus both of our hammers were down here um, and some other tools that I needed I went on this trip and I got back and Brittany tells me that while I was gone the shower would not turn off so I, apparently she was cleaning the guest bathroom and the shower wouldn't turn off. The, the valve was broken and ran for two hours until she got, I think she said she got it with a meat cleaver. She like dented it enough to like get it to grip and uh, shut. But <clears throat> anyway, I took a look at it and the whole thing is just so old. Like the little screws that you adjust how much hot and cold water go in are also leaking and I start looking down and just like the drywall was all moldy and like flimsy so I had to break a bigger hole to get to the valve to replace it so I figured well I might as well just remodel the bathroom since it's you know the two showers are the only things that I haven't touched like literally the only things so figured well might as well just do it now it's better that we're living in there and I can do it it is a good opportunity for me to now fix this but it 
the moldy drywall and uh, the insulation and stuff that I need to pull out, I really, really need a respirator and not just like the little like gardener's mask that I was wearing. So came to pick up my stuff and I'm going to be working on home projects uh, for probably the next couple weeks. We really have to dive the bottom. It's now been way too long, maybe two months. Um, so I'm going to try and talk to Brittany. Maybe that's something that we can come do during this whole quarantine period. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I know it's been a while since we've made a video. I've, you know, I'm, I'm constantly gone. Brittany's afraid to touch a lot of things when I'm not here. And now we have this whole like hectic situation kind of making things hard. You know, I'm not even sure if the store that sells the paint is still open. So we'll see. Ugh. This is craziness. So I wish all of you guys good luck. Um, you know, I hope everyone's staying healthy. Good luck. Stay safe. Uh, please like and subscribe. I know this video is a little weird and there's a lot of space between from when the girls wrapped it. Um, I came and tarped it before I left and um, it still looks like it held up. There's a little bit of water. I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm just too lazy today to vacuum it all out since it is going to rain again in a few days. Uh, we're supposed to have like five days of rain, so... Uh, hopefully it's the last time it rains. I'm ready for sunshine uh, and boat work. So, alright. I'll see you guys later. Late.